pay the price. William sends Harry's Netflix ultimatum, plunging Duke into his worst dread. The Crown is dedicating an entire episode of its fifth series on Netflix to the controversial interview of Princess Diana with the BBC's Martin Bashir, leaving Prince William frustrated. Prince William, Duke of Cambridge is thought to be deeply irritated at Netflix's decision to include a full episode about Princess Diana's shocking sit-down in the BBC's panorama in the upcoming series of The Crown even though he expressed the interview holds no legitimacy in his view. Prince William, 39, said in May it should never be aired again, and the royal source has now told the Telegraph the Duke's words still stand. Princess Diana's eldest son has been openly critical of the 1995 interview, which infamously saw his mother saying there were three of us in this marriage. In response to Lord Dyson's report on how the sit-down was secured, William claimed, it is welcome that the BBC accepts Lord Dyson's findings in full. BBC employees, lied and used fake documents to obtain the interview with my mother, made lurid and false claims about the royal family which played on her fears and fueled paranoia, displayed woeful incompetence when investigating complaints and concerns about the program, and were evasive in their reporting to the media and covered up what they knew from their internal investigation. He added, it is my view that the deceitful way the interview was obtained substantially influenced what my mother said. The sit-down effectively established a false narrative, William continued, which, for over a quarter of a century, has been commercialized by the BBC and others. His brother Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, who recently signed a reported £112 million deal with Netflix for him and wife Meghan Markle, also had harsh words for how things played out for his mother. Denouncing that similar attitudes are still common now, he said, the ripple effect of a culture of exploitation and unethical practices ultimately took her life. What deeply concerns me is that practices like these, and even worse, are still widespread today. Then, and now, it's bigger than one outlet, one network, or one publication. Our mother lost her life because of this, and nothing has changed. By protecting her legacy, we protect everyone, and uphold the dignity with which she lived her life. Harry, 37, and Meghan, 40, stepped back from their roles as senior working royals and moved to the US in an attempt to live away from the spotlight in March last year. Sending shockwaves through the palace, the couple did a two-hour tell-all interview with US chat show host Oprah Winfrey, and mental health was a central topic. Meghan spoke about feeling vilified by the press and unsupported by the royal family, an account that reminded many of what Diana had gone through. Her suicidal thoughts were one of the most shocking parts of the interview, I just didn't want to be alive anymore, she said. And that was a very clear and real and frightening constant thought. Despite William and Harry's wishes for the commercialization of their mother's life to stop, Netflix is going ahead with the episode. Insiders told The Sun, the Crown's creators see the interview as the keystone moment in series 5. To the writers, the stormy marriage between Charles and he led up to her outpouring on Panorama, and the aftermath of that decision defined her final months. The Crown has a track record of delving into areas of the royal family's history they'd rather be left alone. The results of Lord Dyson's inquiry sent the BBC into one of the biggest crises in its history, with the broadcaster admitting clear failings and apologizing earlier this yet. Yet, this difficult chapter seems not to be closed for the royal family as the Crown's episode is likely to put Princess Diana and the world-famous interview on everyone's lips, once again. William and Kate have yet to meet Harry and Meghan's daughter, Lilibet Diana, who was born in June 2021, but that could happen ahead of the Earthshot Prize ceremony. If Harry and Meghan bring their children along to Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee in June, the royal family could be reunited, but only time will tell how that all plays out, but only time.